Starting out the morning with some BFRS GF and some eggs, sausage, and bagels. Good morning. So, <clears throat> Best Buy called me and they said that they're not going to be able to repair my camera. Boo. But the good thing is, since I already have one, they said that they'll just refund me the money for this one. So, I have to go in and do a little bit of paperwork. Also, I'm going to get the iPhone 5S. I checked online and I can actually sell my phone back to Best Buy for $120, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I just had a crazy, crazy morning. Got my iPhone, woo! Space gray, which I'm gonna put a decal on. The guy was like looking at the phone, he's like, I think I see a scratch on it, which I'm like, how can there be a scratch? There was a screen protector on it since I got it. And he's like, I think, so I can only give you $50 to the phone. And I was like, $50? He's like, do you want to do that? I'm like, no. So basically, I bought the phone with my own money, which you have to, you have to pay tax for the full phone, which is like the, the regular price for a 5S is $700. So you have to pay tax on that. And California tax is like 10%. So that's like $70. I went to another Best Buy because I was like, this phone looks fine. I can't even see any scratches at all. And so I went to another Best Buy and then they're like, oh my gosh, your phone is so nice. It's so clean. We can give you $120 for it. I was like, okay, here. So I gave them the phone, I got $120 gift card, which I was like, can I apply it to my 5S that I just bought today? And they're like, no. <laughs> Basically because it's tied to um, a plan with AT&T, you'd have to return the phone and wait 24 hours. So then I was like, well, I guess I can apply the $120 to the camera that I bought. I did that and then Best Buy was like, oh yeah, since we can't re re repair your camera, we will refund you the money and it turns out they refunded me the money that I spent for the original camera I thought I was gonna get a gift card back or something but no they actually just gave me all my money back for my my original camera which I spent like $330 for so I got $330 back for that camera which I was like that's awesome I had to pay $50 for the warranty or whatever which I didn't get back but I basically got to use a camera for two years and then got a new camera for that $50 and got all my money back for the old camera. Basically, I just traded in my iPhone 4 and I traded in my old camera and I got a new camera and a new iPhone. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I did a whole ton of aquarium maintenance here. I used a toothbrush and I just scrubbed off all the hair algae that was on all of these pieces over here. Look at this, it's like all dead. It's really sad. I think there's a lot of phosphates in the sand bed. Phosphates are caused when um, like fish poo and settlement, when I would do water changes, the sand would fly up and then it would settle there and that's what would cause the algae bloom because the, the phosphates would leach into the coral. Hopefully it'll be okay now. But definitely took a big toll on my aquarium. Yeah, these fishies. Discus. This tank is so small, look at that. Sexy shrimp. Filling up my seawater here. I got some more water here. And I got what I was planning on getting. Peppermint shrimp to eat up all my Aptasia. That's Aptasia there because the other one died. I also got a rose bubble tip anemone. Anemones, I was not planning on getting them before because my lighting was not strong enough. And finally, when I got stronger lights with the Panorama Pros, I had too much livestock in my aquarium. And what happens is anemones don't have a hard base. That is the foot of an anemone there. It, all it is is just like a sticky suction cup. And so, you can't glue anemones down anywhere. They can move wherever they want. If they don't like the water, or if they don't like the, the position that they're in, they'll just move somewhere else, and basically they will sting everything around it to kill them off and live in that area. So that's why I didn't have one, because I was like, I already have too much coral in here, so I can't put one in, because what happens if it moves and stings everything? But now that my aquarium is pretty much everything's dead inside, <laughs> that's the, I guess that's the silver lining. I can add one now to my tank, which is what I wanted. Okay, I placed it right there. It stung my finger like so bad when I was sticking it in. I thought my fingers would be strong enough, like I had enough calluses, but apparently I felt it still. In order to try to 
convince it to stay in the place that you place it. What I did was, what you have to do is you have to let it stay for a while, turn off all the pumps. I did that for about an hour now. And then you can feed it some mysis shrimp over here to try to convince it this is the best place because you get fed here. And of course, immediately the cleaner shrimp just grabs every single piece that I spot fed it. Okay, I drip acclimated this peppermint shrimp, which looks kind of albino to me. There we go. There we go. Woo! Welcome to the aquarium. Please don't die. I get my new peppermint shrimp. Those are all Aptasia there. I needed to eat it. Come on, come on, get it. I notice this cleaner shrimp is attacking the peppermint shrimp. Every single time the peppermint shrimp is anywhere, he just like comes and jumps and tries to attack and the peppermint shrimp has to run away. Time for dinner. I'm gonna make some taco meat with mashed potatoes and gravy and some green beans. Hmm, super easy. Here it is. Break it up, break it up. Oh my god, you're on the move. Still what trying to break it up. Break it up. up I'm watching some right, BF vs. GF. That's what I always do when I cook. I'm so far behind you guys on BF vs. GF. It's like, I just watched the um, the chip chocolate thing. Like, he just, he's filming the music video right now. That's how far behind I am. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm like, so many videos behind. <laughs> Okay, I'm microwaving the gravy, finished mi microwaving the mashed potatoes, and next, microwaving the green beans. This is microwaving. Okay, there we go. Just gonna cover this in gravy. Mmm. And then I'm gonna put some ponzu sauce on this. That's why I have it separated. <sighs> Yummy. Okay, here's the rose bubble tip anemone. Slowly coming out of its. Oh, look at these fishies. It's slowly coming out. He's still hiding back there. Yeah, the tank's looking a little better now. I'm giving a lot of TLC. Trader Joe's. I didn't like this one, by the way. Sparkling grape juice? Hmm. Whenever I'm here, I can't find anything I want to buy. Only junk food. You just walk around in circles, confused. <laughs> Stanford. Cornell. Yeah.